Hi, I'm Cynthia for Arvis Cafe. I am super excited today because Sherry is going to show me a new technique. Russian spiral. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time I wanted to learn about this technique. Uh, it's so impressive. It's so beautiful. But never had time to go um, learn that. And so Sherry is here and she's going to show us how to do those beautiful tissues. Aren't they stitch. fun? So it's easy. Okay. It's, it's basically <laughs> kind of netting okay and once you get um you know a couple little rounds good you're you're that's and all that's you need it? to know yeah okay. so really easy um but i want to show you a little bit about what it looks like mm -hmm. once you've done it so this is a finished bracelet and um it creates this beautiful spiral um pattern i used um three different colors of um, three millimeter beads and then 11 odd seed beads. Okay. And um, these are done just in an um, alternating um, color spiral. Mm -hmm. And then this is the same, but a little different look. The seed bead that I chose sort of blends in to right. the color of the beads that right. I used. And so I think the color of the beads themselves show a little more where this one you do see yeah. um, that that seed bead mm -hmm. really accentuates the spiral. Yes. So that's a couple, couple different looks um, just by, you know, changing up the beads you use. Mm -hmm. um, so this one's the same, but this time I blocked the colors. So although the, the stitch spirals and these seed beads show this spiral, mm -hmm. the colors are not in a spiraling pattern. And I love I the see. way that oh, turned yeah. out. This one is really so beautiful. Really fun. Yes, yeah, great it colors. Is. And then um, this is the same thing, but this time instead of um, using, well, I should backtrack. So mm -hmm. I used three different three millimeter beads plus the 11 odd beads. Okay. In this case, you're using um, four beads plus the 11 odd bead. Oh, okay. And I alternated them. So I have this beautiful kind of rose goldy um, fire polish and then these fun um, bugle beads, which mm -hmm. were these right here. And then I did each one of those twice. So okay. two of the bugles oh, and see. two of the fire polish and then the, the spiral. So this is counts as like four. Okay. It could be that it were maybe four different colors okay. of beads, but I decided to do just the two beads, and, but do the repeat. Mm -hmm. And then this is the same, but this time I use these um, really fun little mini daggers which gives it that chunky look that so, looks really fun you know, same stitch mm -hmm. for all of these but just what a difference the the beads make right so um and then you can finish these you know in all different ways I, mm -hmm. we did this as a finished bracelet with a toggle you could do a beaded loop and a button if you wanted right. you could put these into capped um ends right. to finish and caps yes um this one I thought would be really fun to stitch the two ends together. Oh, you so can. So that you have that continuous rainbow going okay. around. Um, so you can easily do that. You just need to make it long enough. Um, I right. thought it would be gorgeous, you know, as a necklace, mm -hmm. hanging on a ribbon or yes. a cord. Um, on this one, I just to show what you can do, I took then just the seed beads and started continued the the um, beading pattern of the spiral um, but just in the seed beads so you could do this as a cap and right. then put that on something or you could continue and just do a long rope and right. turn it into a okay. necklace so there's just all kinds of different ways um, you can really go about neat. finishing them and then all different ways that you can switch up the the number of beads the types okay. of beads and the um uh, colors to make them really different. Right. So really versatile stitch. Okay. Did you? I'm, I'm just yeah. um, asking a question. Did, did you uh, try with a bigger bead? Is that a more? I haven't uh, more done complicated? it. With, I haven't done it with a bigger okay. bead, but you certainly could. Okay. It would just make a bigger, chunkier right. um, rope. Okay. Yeah. So you ready to get oh, started? Oh yes, I am. Okay. So I'm using um, this is minus ko thread. And I think Cynthia has 1G thread. Yes. You can use fire line as well, whatever your thread preference. I like to kind of match my colors um, to my beads. Mm -hmm. And you want to work with a comfortable length of thread. I have one yard roughly okay. here. 
um, you will definitely need to add more as you go right. for a bracelet like this. Um, I usually like to work with something a little longer, but um, didn't want all the thread in my way. Pull these out of the way. Okay. Get a little working room here. And I want to mention I have some very fancy glasses right now. You do. <laughs> this is my craft optics and I really love them because um, you have those magnifier here. And I didn't put it, but you know you can put a light. There is a light also that comes oh, nice. with. Very strong light, especially when you work with mm -hmm. teeny right. beads like that. So right, yes. exactly. So I'm, um, what we're gonna wanna do is probably put our beads on the mat so we can pick okay. them up easily. And we each have three colors. And then um, we're gonna share the uh, silver seed beads. So you want a okay. little pile of those. And I usually like to work with a stopper bead, but in this case, um, I'm not. You form a little circle with the beads and it um, seems to secure it pretty well. If not, you can tie an, a knot and okay. make it more secure okay. if you like. So what we're gonna do is, um, you wanna think about your color pattern and ultimately right. it makes this spiral. And so you're gonna wanna pick up one of your colors mm -hmm. and two seed beads and then a second color and two seed beads and then your third color okay and two seed beads okay so like that okay okay and then you're going to slide them down to near the end of your um, thread and you want to leave a tail i like to leave about 6 to 8 inches All right and then what you're gonna do is we wanna make a circle with those beads, mm -hmm. so you're gonna run your needle back through all of the beads. And then pull that down to make a little circle. Okay. Like so. Mm -hmm. Now you could knot this at this point right. if you want it more secure. I'm not going to. It depends on if um, the sliding around bothers you. And once you get going um, a couple rows, they won't. You won't okay. notice it so much. So now what you want to do is you want to move the needle so that it is coming out between two silver beads. And it doesn't matter which two. Okay. Any two silver beads. Okay, so you can work this stitch in either direction. You can go um, uh, counterclockwise, mm -hmm. which is which direction I'm heading right now. <laughs> okay. Or you can flip it this way and work clockwise. Bye. Um, it's whatever's comfortable for you. The only difference is that if you work one way, your spiral is going to spiral one direction. Oh. If you work the other way, it's going to go the other direction. Okay. Um, but in this case, I like going counterclockwise. So now, what you're going to do is you want to pick up the color bead that you're heading towards. Okay. So in, in my case, my needle is, is aiming towards my purple bead. All right. So I'm going to pick up the purple bead and two seed beads. And then you're going to jump over that purple bead and you're going to go in between it and the next seed bead. So you jump also over one seed so bead? So two seed, mm -hmm. okay. jumping, yes, one seed bead one exactly. Seed bead. The, 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 the purple, bead. purple bead. And then the next seed bead so that your needle is coming out between the two. I see, okay. Yeah. And then pull that down. And then that nests, right now we'll hold it flat, but right. it's going to nest right next to okay. its other purple bead. Then the next bead that you're heading to, in my case it's the gold one, mm -hmm. so I'm going to pick up a gold bead and two seed beads. Oh, oh. And then again, you're going to jump over okay. your colored bead and go between it and the next seed bead so that it's com the needle's coming out of the two seed beads. So in fact you always want to come out the two seed beads, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. 
Well, almost always. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> and then my tail's in the way. Okay. So now you're going to pick up the third color. Right. So that's the one that you're aiming towards. And two seed beads. Now this time, if you notice, the two seed beads aren't really side by side like they are in the, the previous right. times. There's this one seed bead that seems to be in the outer circle, we'll say, more than the mm-hmm. other. And so what you're going to do, this is how you know when you need to step up. Okay. And so you're jumping over your colored bead just like usual. You're going between those those beads, but in this case, there's just this one to the outside. Right. The other one is kind of tucked down in here. So you're going to go through that one, and then you're going to step up okay. by going through your colored bead and then and the, the seed next bead. seed bead. Okay. So you're kind of moving to that next um, group. And so then that creates this pretty little spiral of three colors. Okay. So you're still kind of jumping over your colored bead. Right. But then you're going to find, oh, I only have one funny little bead here. This is where I step up okay. and go through the next two beads. So you should have this pretty little okay. yeah, kind of flat spiral. Right. Yeah. I see. So now what's going to start happening is these outer rows are going to kind of pinch up mm-hmm. like this. They don't do it by themselves yet. It takes another row. Okay. Um, so I'm, I kind of keep it flat, and then as we add these next three beads, it'll, it'll gather up. So again, we're, I'm heading towards my gold bead this time. And so I'm going to pick up a gold bead and two seed two. beads. Okay. Jumping over the gold. And if it helps to pinch them so that you can kind of see what's going on, you're, so you're working on those right. outer rows. Yes. So I'm jumping over the gold. I'm going through the next seed bead and coming out. Okay, so that would be my bead that I'm jumping over this one. So you're, you've you got the green, mm-hmm. let's see. No, you're heading towards the, the pink, right? Right. So you've got the pink on. So you're jumping over the pink. Right. And then going to the next seed bead. Uh, no, oh, no, the first one. one. Yep, okay. there you go. Like that. And then you want to pull. Yeah, because like it's still flat, you kind of... Exactly. It would, I think it would be easier when it starts to make a tube when? because right now it's like, which bead? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's still a little to the outside. Right. Eventually, it ends up on top, so you know which right. one it is. And so it does kind of help to pinch those up mm-hmm. uh, as you go. So here we go. I'm heading towards my pink bead. So I'm going to pick that up. Two seed beads. So I'm jumping over it. And going right. through the next seed bead. And you can see there are, there are actually three there, but there are two that are closer to the outside. One of them is really tucked down in. Mm-hmm. And we're just going through that one. Yeah, I can, I can definitely see better now because it starts to form that it's starting tube. To form, right. That is fun. Oh, yeah, and we can start to see also the spiral, the spiral will forming. start. Yeah. Yes. So purple is next. I'm going to pick up my purple. Two seed beads. Now, if you see mine, here's my purple bead, but there's only one bead here Mm -hmm. when I jump over it. That's how I know that it's time for me to step up. Okay. So I'm jumping over my purple, and I'm going through that one seed bead, the next colored bead, and then the seed bead after it. Okay. And that's the step up. To remember the step up. The step up. Oh, that's true. So after you've stepped up, each time after you've stepped up, if you look, you should have uh, the same number of of beads in each row. So I have three purple, I have the three Mm -hmm. pink, and then I have the three um, gold. Yeah. So you've completed a, a cycle. Okay. That's a good tip, like that you know you didn't make any mistakes. Right, right. And because it, it, it's easy to get um, a little 
lost mm-hmm. sometimes, oh, especially I was working on the one with the little daggers. So visually it's a little different. But And I don't know what I did, but um, I kept, I stepped up and then I went one and then I needed to step up again and then <laughs> did another one. I'm like, that's not right. I'm, <laughs> I should only step up once every few beads, not every other bead. So um, I went backwards and and um, so there, if you can see that little spiral, mm-hmm. and when you when you finish the cycle, you can also see that I've got two. It's actually three beads between each set that you can see. One is sort of down, um, down inside, but they're even. And then while you're making your your way around, the next round is when they um, become uneven. Right. So should we do another round just yes. to get the tube going? So again, heading towards the pink, picked up the pink and two seed beads. I jump over it and go through the seed bead after. Purple, let me find one. There you go. It is pretty easy when you um, start. Once you understand get yeah. that first few rows on, then it, it gets much easier to see where you're headed. Right. Um, and I don't know if you can tell uh, here, I have four of my pink and four of my purple, but I don't have my fourth gold. And you can see that okay. it's sitting down lower. Mm-hmm. The other two are up here, and this one is sort of right. down below. That's another visual. And that's then the right. fact that there's really only one bead exposed, mm-hmm. that's where I'm going to step up again. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering, is that my time? And I can see, yeah, there is a big difference. There's a gap. Yeah. And I can see now I can step up. Okay. And then again, that step up is through that seed bead, the next colored bead, and then the seed bead after. And some, and you want to make sure that you're, they're making little loops, basically. You want to make sure that your little loop is up on top of the right. beads instead of around the outside. And then there you can see your little spiral is starting to mm-hmm. form. Your silver beads are forming their spiral and Yes. And that's all you do. That's it. That's it. That is really fun, Sherry. Isn't that fun? And it goes pretty fast. It's um I'd say faster than um like a peyote tube. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I, th- I think so because maybe, be- yeah, it well, you, does. It does. You're using little bit, little bigger beads yes. every few, and then um, you're putting on uh, three beads at a time mm-hmm. or maybe even four, depending on what you're doing. Right. So, yeah, it builds right. pretty fast. That is, so, yes. Yeah, is that fun? That is great, yes. And the effects are so pretty. It is. It is. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to work today. I think I'm doing this. <laughs> keep, keep beating. Yay. This is really yeah. great. Thank you so much, You're Sherry. Welcome. It's been a long time I wanted to do this, but I couldn't get to it. And uh, it's really, really fun, very simple. Um, like anything at the beginning, you struggle. It's normal. You just have to yeah. practice. And uh, at the beginning, the rows are always yeah, funny. Yeah, the beginning of any stitch really is yes. very often like yes. that. And then yeah. it's much easier. And really easy once you get rolling. Yeah. yeah. But thank you so much, yes, Sherry. I cannot wait also to use some other beads. That I looks know. really fun. Experiment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us today at Arby's Cafe. I hope you enjoy this technique. Um, I think you will because it's, it's really easy to do. Merci, Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Sorry, speaking in French to Sherry now. Thank you, Sherry. You're welcome. <laughs> and um, please subscribe to our email newsletter. Like that, you can see so more ideas, videos, and promotion. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bye-bye.